Hello, here is BB Walker. Welcome to my channel. Today we are continuing our work with creating own voices on Yamaha PSR. So we will be using Yamaha Extension Manager. But this video is uh, made as a request from one of you who asked how to make voice which is looped. So not played once, but play in a loop. So as long as you hold the key. So if you are interested in how to do such a thing, please stay tuned and we will start very soon. All right, so at the beginning, I will show you the difference between standard voice and looped voice. I mean, the sample could be looped or played once. For example, grand piano. You press, you hold, it plays once because it hit the strings on the real instrument. But if you take a strings, for example, as long as you hold the key, it plays. So I have created such a voices in my previous video when I'm showing you step by step how you could install this. Hey! I have created this hey voice, but as you can see, if I press and hold, it plays sample only once. But my second voice, my test that I have done yesterday, works like this. And as you can see, or here, as long as I play, it plays. Or like this, because I have split it into two samples. Oh. So now let's go to computer and I will show you how to do this. Because the trick is very simple, but you need a special software for it. All right, so let's switch. Okay, so I need to click somewhere here because I need to show you. Hey, where are you? All right. So what do we have in here? We have Audacity, because now I will record the sample for the beginning, and then I will show you how to make this sample to be magically a loop. Yes, because all the information is stored inside the WAV file. This is the crucial moment. You need a special format for WAV file. So let's quickly record some samples. Um, you need to record your sample or download from internet in special note, in special, in, in, in correct pitch. So you need to have the uh, key. C3, for example. Mm, mm, maybe we'd try to do some kind of mm, like this. Maybe C2, C2 be a little better. Of course, you can record very long sample, but this is not the way how you can achieve it. All right, so let's quickly uh, split into mono, delete those because I have two mics. So uh, analyze, no, no, no. Let's go to normalize. Let's normalize and let's listen. Of course, in Audacity, you can play a loop. A little bit too long. It's something like this, but I will export this into separate audio file by clicking export, export as a wave. And I recommend you to create your um, separate folder for it. Uh, let's name it uh, YouTube. Uh, mm. All right, so inside the folder C2. All right, uh, it's now saved. And now we need a special software which is called Loop Auditioner. It is a free software, GPL licensed. You can find it on this website. Of course, I will put a link in the description. It was created by Lars Pal. And it is available for all operating system, Linux, Windows, and iOS. So you could click download and download it. I have, of course, downloaded it in before. Uh, and I need to start it. All right. So basically, the software is not only for Yamaha keyboard. It is used in general to create loops inside WAV files. It has a lot of options. 
Some of them are very advanced, they allow you to batch processing loops, finding them automatically and so on and so on. But at the beginning we select a folder and inside this folder it shows, I was using this first option, uh, it shows us, oh my goodness, this is whole, no, 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 I have, it's bad, bad, no, 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 no. I need to again go into outer city because I wanted to save only this fragment, so I have used bad options. Again, export selected audio. Uh, let's override it. Okay. And I think now we should do this again. Uh, I don't know if it. Okay. So now it is, uh, of course cut it into some part and um, but it still doesn't have loop inside all those options are not available uh, you get here some settings for advanced uh, automatic uh, loop finder but uh, if you want to create a loop um, manually by setting start and end mark you are clicking this create new loop option in here this green button and here you uh, give the start and end in the samples. If you press it and select, as you can see, L1 is the, um, maybe I will move this window in here. So L1 is, it is the beginning and the end of the loop number one. And now the play option is available. So let's... Mm -hmm. It's not so nice because it's not perfectly in a start and you click hear this click, but um, you could play with the start and the end. You could also use options uh, for fading, uh, crossfade, crossfade, and now listen. As you can hear this crossfade, works better. I like it. So stop and at this moment we will stop working with this, uh, this, this software because we are using this software only to mark the beginning and the end of the loop and now we use the option save. We could save override the same file uh, over the original or if we want to preserve the original sample we could save with new name and I will select save with new name because I would like to show you the difference in Yamaha extension manager. So let's call it looped. Okay. MMC2 enter. And basically this is the end when you need uh, this uh, auditioner software loop auditioner. Now we could switch. We could close out the city. We could close auditioner. We could go into... Hey, where are you? Where is my Yamaha Extension Manager? All right, here we go. So we are starting Yamaha Extension Manager and we will be working very fast. I am connected now We're using MIDI with USB cable to Yamaha Extension Manager. So uh, it should be automatically connected. Uh, those voices are old voices from my testing. I, I will go to my packs and I will create complete new normal voice. Now I do make it, it very fast, but please check the previous video when I'm doing it a little bit slower. Uh, okay, rename it. Doesn't matter. Let's go to editing. So we are selecting wave files and at the first hit, I will select the original wave file and I'm connected, so everything should work live. As you can see, it plays, I'm still holding the key, it plays the loop, but I mean, it plays the voice, but stopped. And now let's switch this wave, so I delete it, and select this loop, and now let's try. Of course, you still hear this bad starting end, but it's all the stuff that you need to do inside the software auditioner. So if you are interested in more how to use this auditioner, uh, you can, of course, give me a comment and I will continue this topic. But 
on this moment, if you save this voice into installation pack and install it on your instrument, you will have the indefinite uh, playing, continuously played voice. Uh, so this is all for now. This video was especially for Darren Lane, who asked three days ago under my previous video about the Yamaha extension manager how to do this it was very interesting topic and i really enjoyed that i could do those video for you so if you don't subscribe my channel please consider subscribing now please consider using the bell please consider sharing my videos in your show shows i really appreciate all your comments feedbacks and so on so if you are enjoying this video see you next time it was bb walker See you later.